let's go into icon and once you get into icon uh, let's go into our mail and once you go into our mail you will need to select the uh, contacts right and contact is somewhere right here okay and of course the next step is to create a group and let's call these groups uh, I usually like to call my group based on the year because you know every year you have uh, different students and if you name them secondary 4-5 or five, you know and the following year secondary 4-5 it's going to be difficult to dis dis distinguish between 2010 and 2011 secondary 4-5 so let's call this 2010 sec 4-5 uh, class list okay now what we are doing is that we are creating a new group okay Okay, and as you can see there's no one, there's no context in this group. What we need to do is to import the CSV file alright, into this new group. What is important is for us to click uh, add this imported context to 2010 secondary 4 5 class list. Now, if you don't click this, it will just go into any any one of uh, the other uh, uh, groups or even uh, the main uh, contact list that doesn't hold any groups. So let's choose the file. And the files in the desktop, right? The files in the desktop, and uh, so that is gonna be a little bit. All right, this is the one that we want. Let's open it, okay? And let's just press the uh, import and just wait. As you can see, Google is uh, uploading and processing, and they found forty-six contacts, and let's wait. Okay, beautiful, isn't it? Everyone. Um, Go to click uh, secondary four five, right? You will see the names of all the students here, okay? And if you go to click uh, one of them, you can see that this is the student, right? His index number, handphone, and lots of other details that you can find here, right? So once this is done, right? This marks the way you import the CSV addresses into a uh, Google document. Now we are ready to do the next step, which is to create our Google assignment. Thank you.